Hey everybody, so for my uh, 200,000 subscriber special, we got something really cool for you today. So I'm with my uh, buddy Wilson here, and we're working on a uh, Erbium YAG laser. Now this thing is extremely powerful, it's, uh, it's pulsed too. It uh, averages something like 20 watts or something, so yeah, we're going to blow some things up today. Okay, so the ER YAG here is powered by a flash lamp, which means that you need a very high voltage, very short yes. pulse of a lot of power which means you have a very interesting power supply. Yeah. In this case, this one takes uh, voltage from just wall current, 120 volts, steps it up all the way to 1500 volts in these giant <laughs> capacitors here. Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't poke them, they'd probably blow your hand off. <laughs> uh, and then here there's a triggering system that pulses the flash at a certain rate and you can change it here. Uh, I've been, I did some work on this when he first got it. It was not working because the whole trigger circuit was all messed up. So we got it to work, and uh, yeah, we'll show you. We'll show you what happens when we fire this thing up. So the output of this laser is at 2.94 microns, which is well into the IR, so it's completely invisible to our eyes. But the cool thing about this wavelength is that water absorbs it very strongly. So we're gonna shoot it at a wet rag over there and see what happens. Yeah, it's pretty dramatic when it hits. Yeah. Okay. Come on. Here's a piece of tape, fire one ready. Ha, <laughs> cool. Uh oh, that's on fire. Oopsies. Alright, we're gonna shoot a line of balloons. Classic experiment. Okay, go for it. Sweet. <laughs> wow, that was awesome. Well, doesn't seem to want to get that last cool. one. All right, we're gonna try shooting through this piece of plastic here. Fire when ready. Oh, there it goes. Oh, it's on fire. <laughs> Better kill it. Oh, that's awesome. All right, now we're gonna try a monster cannon. Fire when ready. Wow. Oh, that's cool. Here's the laser head opened up. So this is the main cavity here. It contains the flash lamp and the ER YAG crystal. Then here I got my high reflecting mirror and my output coupler mirror. Then right here I have a uh, mount for a rotating Q switch. If I get that thing configured, this laser should be able to break down air just because its, uh, it's uh, power on those short time scales will be high enough to just rip apart air molecules, which would be pretty awesome. Then here I have my uh, main power line and my trigger lines. So yeah, that's the basics of that cavity. So that's about it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I do want to thank all my fans for the 200,000 subscribers. That's a pretty awesome milestone to achieve. Then also I'd like to wish a happy birthday to my fan George. So I uh, hope you had a good 14th birthday. Well until the next time, stay safe and happy lazy.